In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to do a really quick beauty edit. Here I have a picture, I guess you could call it a selfie, that I took up against a wall. Now, it's an okay picture, however, there are a few blemishes that I really would like to get rid of. One of the first things that you should do when you edit a picture is correct the picture for any color casts that you have. Now, in this one, I'm going to go into the color balance menu. And I'm going to select the white balance option. Now, this was actually shot in natural light. And the white balance is not too bad here, but I do want to go through just to see if there are any other better views. There's this uh, balance for excessive sunlight. There's the impact of uh, the cloud. Flash. Shade. Notice how the shade one added a little bit of a uh, little bit more yellow. Here's one for tungsten light. Here's one for fluorescent light. The fish icon is an underwater option. I'm going to use the skin one in this, and that's the icon with the little head on the top. And basically what you do is you select an area of skin that you would like to use to help balance the color. If you'd like to see the difference between the pre and the post, simply select the original icon option and it will show you the original image. And then select it again to show the image that you're working on. I'm going to enlarge the face and go into the brush menu. Here I'm going to use the soften brush. And I'm going to gently soften a little bit of the skin around where I have a few little acne scars. You may find it a little easier to use a stylus. Now I'm gently going to go over some of the marks. From there, I'm going to take and use the repair tool. And I'm going to gently go over some of the little blemishes. You don't want to do this too much. Basically what this is doing is taking some of the surrounding skin and matching the color. Going to do a little bit on the forehead. Now I have two small moles that are above my eyes. I'll leave those because they're actually part of who I am. They're going to be there a week from now, two weeks now, a month from now. So I'll leave those in place. Now let's compare. The original image. The adjusted image, just a teeny bit of adjustment makes all the difference. Now, I would like for my eyes to sh show a little bit more. I'm going to enlarge, uh, but before I do so, I'm going to move from the repair to the darken brush. And I'm going to leave the show strokes menu. I want to show my dark strokes. I want to darken just a little bit in the irises of the eyes. 
Sorry about that. I thought I had my show stroke. I'm going to darken the iris of the eyes. I'm also going to go in and darken up just a little bit around my eyebrows. Now I'll go ahead and I'll hide those strokes and it's given them just a little bit of darkness. If you think that you use one brush a little too much, you always have the option of erasing it with the eraser tool. So I'll take just a teeny bit off. Oh, let me go back and darken this just a little bit more. If you have eyes that look a little bit tired, you can use the desaturate or the lighten brush to take out just a little bit of the white to brighten it up. I may mean, take a little bit of the red if they're red or tired. Sometimes people have little brown streaks in their eyes just from veins. This is a way for you to take them out. Now I will go ahead and I will show the strokes on there what I did with that. See, I'm just gently going over the white of the eye. That just gives it a little bit of a sparkle. Now the next brush that I'm going to use is the sharpen. And here I'm going to sharpen the eyes. And you can see I am using the show strokes just so that you can see what it looks like as I'm doing it. And I will go ahead and I will remove that. Now I'm going to re shrink this back down just a little bit. And I'll go back to the original image and the adjusted image. And see the eyes pop just a tad bit more. Another thing that you can do if you would like to add just a little bit of color but not too much to an area, you can increase the saturation. Now I'm going to show the strokes for my saturation and I don't want it to be too much and I'm going to go over the lips ever so slightly. Now remember this is the stroke color that you're seeing. My lips are not going to look this color. But what this does is it gives just a tad bit more vibrance. If you have a little too much, again, you can use your erase tool and go over it. Another thing that you can do is you can select the recognize edges option. Recognizing the edges helps you keep within your selected area just a little bit better. Go ahead and we'll hide that now and I'm going to bring this back down to size. Not sure that I like it so I'm going to erase some of it. Just a teeny bit. Make the lips a little bit. And just so that my glasses are dark, I'm going to go in and darken up the glasses. Again, this is just one way to help them stand out. And let's look at the original. somewhat sallow look because it's just a little bit too yellow. And then let's look at the second image. And I'll go back in and check, make a couple of more repairs, little pimples. tiny blemishes. Again, you don't want to do too much. I see a little mark in the background there that I decided to sort of blur out. 
Oh, there's one down here too in the corner. Get rid of that as well. And again, I'll check the original. Slightly yellow, you can see the barks. The other one, just a few subtle differences. Ooh, and I think I'm gonna get a little bit of work around this neck. Uh, I was not liking those little lines. I think I'm gonna 